into the AFC wildcard race, which is compelling, not least because the Oakland Raiders have played themselves back into this, Mike. Astonishingly, so with the Raiders beating the Chargers, the Ravens beat the Browns, obviously, the Jets beating the Steelers, uh, the Saints beat the Titans, and the Colts beat the Panthers. Uh, it is now a three-horse race. The, the Raiders work mathematically in the mix as well the Browns. Suddenly, the Titans are in the sixth seed. The Steelers have fallen out. They flip-flop because of their strength of schedule. MIT level degree needing understanding this. <laughs> um, and the Raiders back in and the Raiders can make it. This is how it plays out, Mike. If if Oakland win at Denver, the Titans lose against the Texans, the Steelers lose against the Ravens, and the Colts beat the Jags. Yeah, the Colts have to beat the Jags for it's a divisional it's a divisional record thing or something like that. Yeah. The Raiders are in the playoffs, so can they do it? I like simple. <laughs> I like, <laughs> That's why we I get like on so simple well. situations. Yeah. Uh, can the Raiders do it? It's it's highly likely the Steelers could lose, but we mm. it's hard to say right now because we don't know what the Ravens are going to do on on the weekend. So both the Ravens and the Texans are in that conundrum. They're both in that. Te- they've got nothing to really for. to play for. Um, I think it's more likely Tennessee could beat could be Houston. Mm-hmm. They played them well in in Nashville two weeks ago, um, and they have everything to play for. And I'd like to see Tennessee make the playoffs. You know, they always. They go nine and seven, no matter who the coach is. Um, at least since Jeff Fisher, Jeff Fisher would go oh, eight and eight. Poor um, Jeff. So it's been, it's been a big, it's been a big yeah. improvement for them. And they also usually win games, you know, nineteen or lose games nineteen sixteen or twenty one eighteen. So uh, they've definitely hyped up the entertainment factor this season. Yeah, the, their problem is the secondary. If Adoree Jackson's not playing, they're down Malcolm Butler already. Right. It, it may they have a little bit of a, a difficulty there. And Derrick Henry, of course. And Derrick Henry didn't play. Didn't play the, um, so he needs to be there because that, that's that's the team that probably most depends on their running back. And Henry is probably the most, um, if you're going to have one guy carry the load for you, he can probably carry the most load. Um, he can carry sure. some load. So, you know, so the situation is both those teams could lose. Putting It would be great if Oakland didn't get in because the Colts <laughs> messed them up, you know, <laughs> kind of unseen, or the Jags messed them up, you know, unseen. Because right. that would be like the first positive thing the Jags have done all season. <laughs> <laughs> harsh but fair. It is interesting. It is it's harsh to Gardner Minshew. The, the, the Titans, uh, as you say, probably deserve it the most, the way they've been playing recently. But then I guess you could argue the Raiders, when you look at the season in totality, and, and throwing preseason into that as well, what they've achieved. The fact that Gruden has got the Raiders to this point where they could still make the playoffs going into the final week of the season is, is mightily impressive. I, I don't, I haven't changed. I think my opinion since we did the game in, in London um, with the Raiders and he's, he's done a good job and it. And, and it's like year year two of his five or his 10 year plan. Um, but they are probably about where they want to be. They're a limited team. I do believe that Derek Carr might be another quarterback on your free agent market. Um, well, rumblings about this. So, uh, supr- are you surprised at that? Not really. Um, and it's funny because when he led, when he scored the touchdown um, on the keeper, you know, then I'm thinking, ah, it's Rich Gannon because because Carr knows that what Gruden wants is another Rich Gannon, and right. Carr's not another Rich Gannon. That that's that's the problem. But he wants to run a you know a ball control kind of West Coast offense, run first kind of team with Josh, which is why they drafted Josh Jacobs and mm-hmm. got great value from Josh Jacobs. He's had an excellent season, um, which means when they fall behind, they have problems. Mm-hmm. So, you know, they, they don't want to play offensive, offensively really strong teams that can, that can rack up two or three touchdowns early on them. But having said that, they can stay in a game with anyone who doesn't have a really great offense, which you know, is the Titans or looks like they have a great offense, but don't like the Chargers. <laughs> and and I'm watching that game and I picked the Chargers and I wish I had a lot picked of people pick the Chargers. Put uh, you putting you on the spot out of these three. Who do you think? And I know it's difficult because we don't know what the Ravens or the Texans yeah. are going to do in terms of starting personnel. But who are I'm the going three with the Titans. I mean, who are probably the favorites, I would imagine, because there's think they'll because they have it at the moment. Yeah. right? So, yeah, so the Titans take it. But I like I mean, I like the Titans. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed the Nat Coombs show presented by Paddy Power Fantasy. There's plenty more where that came from. Just click subscribe to ESPN UK and you won't miss a trick.